because there's a fair amount of simulation that you can actually do uh, in Fusion. Um, we've seen a little bit of it because we did a with the static stress that um, I used as an example to show you the reason why uh, webs were used uh, within the actual uh, body itself. Um, now I've already done the the simulations uh, because they do take a bit of time. You can either do them on the cloud or you can do them on your computer. If you're using a Mac, I do suggest you use the cloud to uh, run the calculations because it's quite heavy on resources. Now, uh, the first one would be the static. So in order for you to do that, you're going to go to uh, study. I'm just going to choose a new simulation. You can do, choose static stress here. And we're going to use static stress and then we'll do another one, which is injection molding. OK, so with static stress, you're going to create a study. Now, it's important that you've chosen your correct physical materials. So for this one, I've actually chosen ABS. If we go to the constraints, so construct, uh, the, the constraints will be on this side. You can bring in your other components if you want to just make sure everything's together. In fact, you could do the entire uh, you don't need to mold thing here and then you can say right well uh, one of those constraints there and one of those constraints there meaning that it's not going to move because your hands holding it so the next part would be well where's the weight coming from where's the load so we're going to just select that and the bags would be pushing against this and that and I'm just going to put 250 and it needs to be a capital N okay so I'm just going to press OK for that now, once you've done that, you would then um, click simulation results and then it will ask you if you want to go ahead. OK, now when you compute, so if we went yes, on the cloud is that one and locally is that one. OK, so that's on your computer and that's on the cloud. Now that will look like uh, this. So you'll get uh, after a bit of time. You'll get uh, the results already, and we can actually click that. And we're just going to view those results. So as before, with the web, you can see that there is um, deflection there. There's a bit of def uh, deformation. You can see it. It's a lot more than it was before, but that is because it's not steel anymore. Now it's um, ABS. Now I'm able to look at it and see where the weaknesses are. OK, so the next one is to create a study. And this one's going to be the injection molding. Now, this is important because we need to see if we we're going to make it, how could we make it? So we'll create a study there. Now, for this, I'm only going to select one side and we're just going to target that. Place my my injector locations, uh, let's say one, two, three. And it's important to understand that when the, the when the plastic goes in, it's hot. And of course, it's going to cool down pretty much as soon as it's um, touching. If we have a look at the process settings, we can see that the temperature is going to be 245 degrees uh, for the plastic and the mold, the actual metal part, that would be um, have a temperature of 70 degrees. So of course it is going to drop quite a lot. And your job is to get that plastic to the ends without it cooling down. So when you've done that, you're going to go to the results. Now you can only do these results by the cloud because it's in beta. View those results. And this is for study two, the second study I did. We can see that um, at the moment, everything's green. However, we do have a an effect, a, a problem here, that area there. So what we're saying is uh, the plastic wasn't able to get up and down quick enough. So now we've got an area here that is unlikely to fill. So that would, uh, point to a, a potential issue with my uh, with my mold or with my injector locations. Now it would be good to highlight that and say what was wrong and why was it wrong. It would also be quite handy to uh, relocate those and do it again and then compare. We can have a look at the structural defects. Now can you you might be able to see it. You see the crack there in between the two locators. So what I'm guessing is as the plastic moves there, it's cooling down, cooling down. As the plastic moves there, it's cooling down. And it's not really fusing properly. The further we move away from the locators, then the problem.